In this tutorial I'm going to explain uh, supports in Mesh Mixer. So this item is flat on the bolt plane and if you're uh, going to try and create supports for it as we just did there um, it's only going to do that. So what I've noticed when I printed this part before was um, I really needed uh, these holes on the bottom those holes or that hole there uh, to come out perfectly so I actually do need perfect Z axis height with this part uh, in those situations where you don't want to print on the bolt plate what I normally do is uh, you click edit you click transform and you move it up about 10 millimeters from uh, the bolt plate uh, 10 millimeters you need about five millimeters for the bolt plate to get into the fluid, so ten millimeters is a nice uh, um, buffer for you. You have to move it up. Go to mesh mix and add. I normally add a cylinder. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you add. I make that cylinder one millimeter in size. Click accept, and then I align that cylinder to the bottom um, of the bolt plane. I then combine the cylinder and the model using combine and now mesh mixer thinks the model is uh, off the ground and it won't move it back down to the platform. So we can go back to analysis, click on overhangs. Uh, what we have settings as uh, angle threshold is 25 degrees. You can play around with these, these numbers. Max angle uh, 45 uh, I normally like a, a larger number there so the supports don't go very skew density you you might want to start with a lower number for a part otherwise it could kill your machine when it's trying to generate the supports and um, in this case we're gonna go uh, post diameter of three millimeters tip uh, diameter uh, 0 0.5 um, actually what I want to do is uh, post diameter 2 tip the the base uh, probably 3 there and tip height about 3 that's uh, I normally play with those those kind of th settings so let's do, do generate and see what happens Okay, I think that's definitely too many, so our density is uh, a little bit high. Um, we'll go a little bit less. You don't need a support right next to another support. Uh, that looks better. What I normally, when I have to generate it manually, um, I try and do supports. Um, on the edges of the part and I also do it on each line of these blocks and that normally seems to come out really nice uh, when the supports are too close together I, they um, form one part and then it could be a little bit difficult to to take them off so the way I'm deleting the supports is I'm clicking uh, control and uh, left click and then I just left click without control to put a new support in if you want to force putting a support in you can drag a support to some so as you can see I, I'm working from the bottom upwards um, you can click somewhere click shift and then that will force generation of that support so I'm just having a look here kind of as I said I try and put it on each line um, and on the edges of uh, printed or parts. So here, there you can see it. It really created some 
silly thing there. Now if you do this, it's just going to go in the air. That doesn't work. So again, you need to turn it upside down. Uh, I'm going to force a support there. And I'm going to force a support there. And then I'm going to do one there and do one there. So these are very close to the side. So you're going to have difficulty removing them. So again, I will force the support in that direction. Sometimes it would go in some weird directions. Um, and if it gets too close to the printed part, it'll uh, fuse together. Like that is, that's not gonna work. Let's try again. Okay, that seems like everything is fine. Here we don't care about just a little circle. Um, again, on the lines. I just want to make sure it's supported um, on the edges. That seems to help a lot getting the part to come out really nicely. So this part will be printing continuously uh, through the supports and then probably uh, five solid layers on the bottom and then the rest will be continuous again and we'll probably close it up uh, there and there uh, and there so I'm going to be closing the top layers um, the resin will be stuck inside uh, so it'll take a little bit longer to solidify but um, I'm going to be putting screws in here so I do need uh, a little bit of extra power or oh, strength so you can convert to solid in some cases you you really need to convert to solid um, these days I don't convert to solid anymore because it it changes the supports and then the supports sometimes don't actually touch the printed part and that can cause uh, other problems again so you just need to see what works for your model or what works in in that situation so that's it and then we can uh, you need to click on export um, this is the in move pass that I'm busy printing so uh, I actually broke the previous one um, because the the screws split the parts so um, let's just go to that directory and of course mesh mixer doesn't give you the name so you need to type the name in yourself supports to so now we can load that into gizmator uh, slice and print and that's uh, support generation